and welcome to another edition of the GK Woga Insider along with Nastya Lukin. I'm Ray Canaveri and wow, Nastya, you've continued your toward pace since our last show. You were recently at the Pacific Rim Championships in San Jose where you did very well, of course. <laughs> you were tops all around top on the beam and got second in the uneven bars. Yes, yeah, so it was a really great weekend. We also won the team competition, which is always very important. And my own teammate, Rebecca Bross, who trains here at WOGA too, won the junior all-around and vault, um, beam, and floor. That brings us to the lineup for today's show. We'll have highlights of that Pacific Rim Championship. So I think people are really going to like this. And we'll also have a very special guest with us today, 2004 Olympic champion Carly Patterson. Are you going to keep that a secret for now, or are you going to tell us? <laughs> keep it a secret. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll have one of the up-and-coming WOGA elite gymnasts on the male side. But uh, first, as promised, here's the highlights of the Pacific Rim Championships. As we start out, the first competition we'll see here is the vault. Tell us a little bit about this, Nostra. Yes, this is actually one of my better vaults that I've competed this year, the Yachenko one and a half. And, you know, I just had a small step on the landing, so I was really happy with that. It's always fun competing for the team, and you know you're not just competing for yourself, and the team score needs you as well. So that was that was really cool. Up next, you're on the bars, which you got second in this. I thought you should have gotten first, but I'm a little biased. <laughs> well, I actually got second in the event finals, and I did have the highest score here in the first day of competition. Um, this is a brand new routine for me. I've only competed it twice, and the American Cup earlier this year was my first time. So. Um, you know, all these new, I have a few new skills. The second skill, the Healy, was actually a brand new skill for me. Um, other than that, you know, I was really happy with the routine, except for a little mistake coming up here on my pack salto. I know one thing they were talking about on the telecast is that what you do that other gymnasts don't do, the difficulty of your moves time after time is, is what sets you apart. Yeah, I actually have the highest star value, um, you know, for sure in the U.S. with a 7.7, .7, so I'm really happy about that. Now here's the beam, and I thought you were awesome on this. Just what you do here is tremendous. Thank you. Yeah, beam is always something that's kind of come easier for me. Um, you know, I've always loved beams, so I guess when something you love and it's easy for you, um, you know, that's kind of how it becomes one of your better events. I think the Lucan move is coming up here, isn't it? <laughs> That's funny. Um, you know, that skill is coming up a little bit later in my routine, but, um, you know, I just kind of started learning it by myself. My dad was actually in Japan with Rebecca um, last fall, and, you know, I was playing around with new skills, and that's just kind of how it came about, and now I'm competing it. So I'm hopefully by the Olympic Games, if I compete it successfully there, it will be named the Lucan. We'll talk about what's going on right here. This is a um, skill called in a nodi to a wolf bull. And this is where actually the lucan, I guess, <laughs> is coming up. So we'll watch this. It's, it's tremendous. Yeah, somebody has actually done it in a tuck position. So if I get it in a pike position, which is what I'm hoping for, then it would be called the lucan. Well, this is a good look at Nastia in the competition. Again, she won top all around. And uh, that's not the first four. And uh, so I hope you enjoy these. And now let's go over to Nastya, who's standing by with a former Olympian. As the Olympic Games are right around the corner, it makes me think a lot about the 2004 Games when Carly Patterson won the gold. Here she is now as a singer. Yes. Um, you know, after the Olympics, uh, you know, singing was actually always, you know, something I wanted to do. And, um, you know, after the Olympics, I knew that I was, you know, done. I wanted to go out on a high note. And so, um, you know, I figured that singing would be, you know, really good. And, you know, something I've always loved. So I was like, I should really try singing now. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just signed with a record label. And um, I've been working on my album for the past couple months. And um, the album is called Back to the Beginning. And it's going to come out in August. And, uh yeah, so that's that's almost finished, and um, that's been really fun and exciting to do. And I heard you have a new single out on iTunes now. Yes, I have a single, and uh, it's called Temporary Life, Ordinary Girl, and it's on iTunes or pretty much wherever, I think. <laughs> um, and, and also, to hear some more of my music and stuff, you can go to either my MySpace, my music MySpace, or um, you can go to my website, carlypattersonmusic.com, and um, you can hear a couple of the other upcoming songs, so... 
After the Olympic Games, things were pretty crazy for you, weren't they? Yeah, after the Olympics, it, it was really crazy. It was, it was a whirlwind. Sometimes I wish I could go back and, and just kind of relive it because I was, you know, going so fast and I wish I could have, like, remembered and, and took in more moments that were, you know, to sink in. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I was traveling, as you know, all the time. I was, I was never in the gym anymore after that. And, um, you know, for about a year and a half, two years after, I was just always on the road so <laughs> and how about now as the 2008 Olympics are coming up what do you expect um I'm really excited for 2008 Olympics it's really weird that it's um already four years after <laughs> it just went by so fast but um you know I've, I've been getting to watch all the competitions that have been on TV lately and I I just went and saw you in San Jose <laughs> um and and everyone you know is looking pretty good but I think you know the U.S. is obviously you know doing awesome, going into everything and winning everything that they're, you know, competing in and stuff. So um, I really thank USA and, and you guys have an awesome, awesome shot. <laughs> Thanks, Carly. Back to you, Ray. And joining me now is one of the elite male gymnasts at Woga Gym, and that is Philip Honorado. And Philip, I know um, you've been involved in a number of competitions recently and had success, but I want to start off by asking you, what are your special events in gymnastics? My special event is the rings. Uh, the rings I achieve the most on, I am the strongest on. As a junior, of course, as a senior level, it gets more difficult, but I'm still near the top. Awesome. Talk about the 2006 Junior Pan Am Championships. I know you've had success in a number of different places, but this is one place that you've had a lot of success. Yes, it was a, a very good competition. I came well prepared. Um, as you, uh, the United States as a country, we are very strong as gymnasts, especially at the junior level. And the Pan American countries, you know, they're good, but you know, the United States just above everybody else. So I went there, had a great competition, um, took second place to a fellow teammate, and uh, took and I took second on floor and won the rings. I know also you are a three-time Junior Olympic champion as well. I am. For the juniors, that is a huge competition. It is considered the last kind of competition of the year. You go there, it's all the juniors in the United States has won. And I've won it three times in a row, so it's a very good moral booster. So. Well, and I know you're also a Buckeye now, too, because you've uh, accepted a scholarship to Ohio State for I, gymnastics. How awesome is that? That is amazing. Even though all these other schools offered me full rides, Ohio State was by far the best one. You know, gymnastics was just unbelievable. And also the other things they have to offer at the school, you know, good football, something to enjoy, other than they gymnastics. They don't have good football there, do they? <laughs> Well, if we can pull out a championship game, maybe. Well, hey, best of luck to you. We're going to miss you at Wolga, but uh, all the best to you in the future. Thank you. It's the time of the show where we get an opportunity to watch an Austria workout. But before we do that, GK Elite Sports, where they have the best outfits. And I know being a soccer player that having the right equipment is really important. And I know GK has outstanding equipment. The leotard you're wearing, GK Sports Elite. Yeah, this is my favorite one from the newest Essentials and just in time for spring and it's very, I love the color so um, and it feels great so uh, this is my favorite one. Alright, well let's see Nostra work out in her leotard from GK Elite Sportswear. That's going to wrap up another edition of the GK Woga Insider. On our next edition, we'll talk about my busy summer with the Visa Championships and the Olympic Trials. For Nostia Lucan, I'm Ray Canaveri. So long, everyone. <laughs>